Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide and we're on August 7th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes and everything else affecting humanity. I want to give a big shout out to everybody who gave me birthday wishes yesterday. You really made my day special and I took the day off just to catch up and have a little bit of fun. So again, I want to thank you for all the birthday wishes. Looking here, the last 48 hours incoming imagery, we do have quite a big sunspot cresting and as well a small fiery region that is going into an earth facing position and as well a small fiery position heading out. We did have a small CME to talk about, not earth, not quite earth directed but we will get a glancing blow from it. Just having a quick look here at the active region that it will be keep, keeping a close eye on. Don't mind the small eclipse there. And as well, looking here at multi-spectrum, you can see a pretty quiet sun at that. Just a couple fiery regions, no major sunspots to talk about except for this guy here and as well the cresting region in the northwest. We should be seeing just a little bit of increased solar wind from the coronal hole that was earth facing. That is noticeable right now with the real time solar wind. as we're sitting at about 420 kilometers per second, 423 to be exact. And we did have a s small spike up to about 470 kilometers per second. See quite the activity there between the north and south polarity. Did see some geomagnetic activity increased to a KP of three and four today. Looking at Lasco two and three, can see the small CME mostly on Lasco 3, the blue one on the right hand side there. You can see that little bit of energy coming out. It was a very small CME, and we will get a glancing blow here looking at Iswa, showing to be about the 12th and 13th, looking at a glancing blow from that small coronal mass ejection. This one was directed right at Stereo B. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 10. After having a blackout yesterday and the day before, we've had some very interesting Schumann effects recently. And this chart is cut in half. I don't know what's going on there, but only half of it is showing up. So we'll have to stay tuned for the next update and see what they're showing us. Having a look here, the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. We're going to start out here, most recent earthquakes in South America. And just recently here, we had a 4.4 Argentina, San Martin, and as well, uh, Argentina 4.2, just north of that, 5.1 Chile-Bolivia border. And just north of there, 4.4 in Peru, 74 kilometer depth. A couple earthquakes here by the Galapagos Islands, east of the Galapagos and off the coast of Central America, 4.5 and a 4.6. Quiet through Puerto Rico today, largest being a 3.0 reported. Across the North American plate, it's been steady. Minor earthquakes, nothing major to talk about and no swarms to talk about. 3.5 here, Delta border there with Mexico. As well, 3.2 here largest earthquake through California, Alder Springs, and that's where that small swarm continues, and as well, the large fire still moving northward. We'll have a quick look here at USGS, just to give you a show. There are no major swarms to talk about. Most of the activity is along the major faults. A couple notables here around Los Angeles. That swarm continues 
through Alder Springs. And all of a sudden, peep, knock on wood quiet through the Pacific Northwest. Only one earthquake to talk about here, 2.2 in Oso, Washington, not even seeing a minor. And yesterday I was going to report about the explosions that are still going on here in the last seven days. Minor earthquake here, the 3.0 in Hawaii. Earthquakes continuing through Alaska, but quieting down. Russia seeing a 4.3, 4.6 here in Zevernaya Zemla, North Pole, Greenland. Very eerily quiet. Through the Pacific Northwest right now, and through China, India. Papua New Guinea here seeing a 5.3, largest earthquake today. And as well, and not very deep earthquakes today through the Fiji region, only 105 kilometer depth. The region seeing a 4.5 and a 4.9. But yeah, too quiet through that region. Heads up. 4.6 in Afghanistan and as well a 4.5 Tajikistan. Notable earthquake here matching Papua New Guinea, 5.3 Prince Edward Islands south of Africa. As well, Greece seeing 5.1, 10 kilometer depth, Mandraki, Greece. And as well, a rare here, Morocco seeing a 4.1. And as well, South Sandwich Islands, 4.6 to 26 kilometer depth. And we've seen some activity come back to the region over the last couple of days. I've not I have not put out a daily due. I do apologize, but it was my birthday and I took the day off. Looking here, the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. And we're still pretty busy, but right now it is quiet. And especially through North American plate. But we're seeing a lot of, we've, we have seen a lot of fours, fives, and sixes throughout the week here through Pacific Northwest, Ring of Fire, Act, lots of activity through Greece into the Aegean Sea, and as well Antarctic Plate into the South Sandwich Islands, and increased activity through Iceland as that volcano, Fagradas Folly, is still erupting. Amazing. Speaking of which, we'll be looking at the volcanic activity report coming up tomorrow and as well planetary positioning. So stay tuned for that. Having a look here, Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Popo in Mexico. Fuego in Guatemala. Shevelich in Russia. Sabincaya in Peru. Nevados de Ruiz in Colombia. Many, many fires. Merapi in Indonesia. Looking at 190 active alerts. Reventador in Ecuador. Ecuador. Nevados de Chile in Colombia. Sanguide. Sangue in Ecuador. Whoops. <laughs> uh, as well as Suisunajima, Japan. Simaru, Indonesia. Tokono in Indonesia. Pavlov in the United States, that's awakened two days ago, as mentioned with Aniakchak, Sebznepochnoi, Luwatolo, and as well Pakaya. So yes, definitely a volcanic activity report coming tomorrow, as I'm sure it has changed from last week. And looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center, if you get this app yourself, you can find out exactly where all these fire alerts are. I'd love to be able to share them all with you, but as you can see, it is peppered here. But there are many new fires that broke out through California and as well continual fires. We've seen some relief through parts of Washington. Looking here, the last 24 hours for imagery over Washington, low pressure system did move in. Or sorry, Oregon. And as well, Washington border into B.C., looks like they have seen a little bit of relief but there were still fires going 
And as well, I got a heads up from bottle caps on the West Coast down at Texada Island saying he did have rain on the coast and he was blowing it our way. So again, thanks for the blowjob. And we needed the rain. I really hope that it comes. Forecasted just south of us, though. Looking here through Northern California, as I, for I posted the other day, huge fires. This is quite a situation and they're continuing to just burn northward and further into Oregon. Not but clear skies right now. Unfortunately, the low developed just east of you guys and headed eastward. Having a look across the planet, we do have five tropical storms to talk about. We have Tropical Storm Kevin in the East Pacific, who's going to be heading northwest, and as well, Jemina, who is going to be heading northwest as well. Most likely a long trek to Hawaii, but most likely will not form into a major hurricane. As well, we have Nida, Tropical Storm Nida, as well, Marine and Tropical Storm Lupit. So across the Pacific Northwest, it's been very active recently. Well, right across the Pacific Ocean, just yesterday, they were showing eight areas of interest across the Pacific. Three areas of interest in five tropical storms, which we have right here, five tropical storms in the Pacific. Back in 2017 or 2018, I do believe I recorded eight. No major storms to talk about through the Atlantic. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well daily events worldwide starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta, as it has been warm recently and no moisture to really cool things off except for higher elevation temperatures. So cool nights and you can see here low pressure system tucking just underneath of Calgary we might see a little bit of moisture from that, but it's going to quickly move northward into a very big low that is developing and coming across Canada right now. And we can thank Alaska for that. These systems came right across the Pacific into the Alaskan Peninsula and somehow got right over northern BC into Yukon and is now racing eastward. And you can see a wave of moisture. It's going to spread across the nation and as well a low pressure center develop throughout the week through Great Lakes. So watch for extreme weather through there and as well a lot of rain. Great Lakes region, stormy conditions through uh, northeastern United States as well. Overlooking the Atlantic, high pressure ridge here still. Actually, it's just about dominated here. Low pressure systems are tearing it up. So we could have a couple Tropical storms here develop in the long-range forecast. Heads up, my friends and family along the southeastern coast of the United States, because we could have a pretty big end to the Atlantic hurricane season. Overlooking Europe, low-pressure system finally leaving UK before another one comes in. Other than that, widespread clouds, cloud cover and seasonal conditions through Europe Low pressure center here being tucked and sucked through Turkey. Overlooking Russia, two low pressure systems there through the middle of the continent. Probably going to join forces in the long range. Southeast Asia and West Indies. Low pressure center finally leaving India. And is going to head through Nepal and just follow this atmospheric river through China. And follow the same track that these tropical systems are following as well. So heads up, China, you have a lot of rain in the forecast here. And as well, Japan, everybody attending the, Olymp the Olympics, you possibly have a typhoon on your doorstep coming in by Monday and Tuesday for southern parts of Japan. And a lot of rain after that. So it's going to be a very soggy end to the Olympics overlooking Micronesia, Papua New Guinea, daily evaporation rains, no major events to talk about. Australia, high pressure ridge is about to leave and you've already seen a little bit of moisture here in western 
parts of the continent. And that's from this big beast of a system here just south of you and is literally the size of your continent, Australians. Heads up, my Aussie friends. That is a huge system and you're lucky you're not going to see much of it. But Tasmania is going to see a lot of rain, southeastern parts, and as well, New Zealand. It's a pretty big system. And I've been monitoring, man, and these systems are getting bigger. They're getting stronger. Rain leaving and then coming back to New Zealand throughout the week. Dry until about Wednesday or Thursday for Hawaii. Looking through the Pacific here, you can see Tropical Storm Kevin. And as well, yeah, it's most likely Kevin that will be a survivor in the long range here heading towards Hawaii. Peculiar jet stream here. Rain train of typhoons. But very far north on the Pacific coast. We need it further south. Overlooking South America, right? No major weather events here except for Argentina, Buenos Aires. You could see some rain, daily evaporation rains through the rest of the country and very dry. No major weather systems affecting Africa through the week. Daily evaporation rains and that's about it. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. I want to thank you all for watching today and as well again, thank you for the birthday wishes now 46 years young. Thanks for watching. Leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Checking out these big bad boys of systems here spinning around our planet. Again, thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world